Gentlemen, there it is. That's the Betfair Challenge Series behind us. Um, what are your highlights? What are your memories of that glorious summer of 2009? Um, well, we go back to Cardiff, don't we, with the, the pedalos in the pouring rain? Yeah, uh, hosing down, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, that was good. Didn't manage not to fall in. Yeah, I couldn't turn my pedal around tough as... You've had trouble all series yeah, with turning, haven't I, you? Yeah, I've been quite poor at that, haven't I? <laughs> If I'm honest, it's been terrible. That got me off to oh, a good start. You got off to a flyer. Psychologically. Ah, what about after that? We had to run up the deck in um, Carter Bay there to get back inside. It was Greasy. Oh, greasy. Greasy underfoot. I just got off a little bit quicker than him. I think it's all those years down at the seaside with my mum and dad on the pedalos, you know? And then it was down to Lords, wasn't it, for the mowers? Now, I love the mowers. Yeah, I, I, got, I got scared. I was worried about my foot dropping and then becoming an amputee. Well, it, you, you, you had a little oh, prank. I had a little, I had a little prank. <laughs> I mean, it's all better now. A oh. <laughs> couple, of, couple of little scars there, toughers. I was at home on the mower. That yeah. was probably my highlight. Oh, I thought you were going to lap me. I mean, that was my kind of neck of the woods there, yeah. mowing. Come on, come on. The horse race, mm. that was another highlight. That, that was, was phenomenal. I quite like the silk stuff. Oh, I liked it. It made me feel all sort of... <laughs> but you were like, you, you absolutely flew down there. Just holding went, on for dear life. Holding on for dear life. But what a privilege that is, going down the finishing straight of Warwick Race Club. A shock upset, Australia win the Vet Fair Challenge. That was a good crack. That was a highlight. Yeah. And then we went forward, of course, to Headingley for the spearing. And that, for me, Dizzy, was the first time you fitted into your equipment in the whole of the series. <laughs> that, that seemed to work. That's a lovely line. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Back in the head, toughers. Kept, yeah. Kept going just... there. But it was a good laugh. It was good fun. It was a good crack, wasn't it? Going down a... Uh... Down the inside Down of the board, hill and knock the stumps over. Tough as you nervous? No. <laughs> I hit actually. Drawn? We both hit. Yeah, we? we both hit. Yeah. Uh, you hit leg stump. I hit middle. But yeah. we don't. We don't worry about little things like that. No. They're stumps both out, stump. aren't they? They're both They're out. Both They're both <laughs> out. Ah, fuck it out. Fuck it out. Yours was a bit more of an arm ball, wasn't it? Just swung away. Yeah. Oh, he's out! <laughs> Cricket! This is one of the loveliest career grounds I've ever played on the toughest. It's beautiful. In a six-a-side competition, very difficult when you lose early wicket. We, we were playing catch-up a little bit. Uh, losing Chris Harris, he chipped one into oh, the outfield. Big blow. Oh, it was big a massive blow. blow. Big blow. Caught it beautifully. Great bit of cricket. Yeah. Now, of course, that means that uh, Phil Tufnell has won the Betfair Challenge Series. <laughs> and what it means for you, of course, Dizzy, is that you have to paint yourself and stand in amongst the Barmy Army on day one of the Oval Test match. Did anyone tell you about that? And no. how do you feel about it? No. I'm... In with the Barmies, mate. <laughs> They're just going to keep asking me where my caravan is, stuff is. <laughs> Just as when it's in the morning and not after sort of tea time when the boys have had a few. Happy days. Happy days.